Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Boys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It is always lovely seeing all of your beautiful faces. It's all about my food adventures all over the world, but today we're doing something not at all involved with food. Uh, it's a little series I like to call Influencer Secrets, where I talk about a little bit more about other things I wanna talk about. A lot of it has to do with the cameras, a lot of it has to do with my journey editing with my Canon R5, which is exactly what this video is about today. So these were tests that I wanted to run, so I figured if I'm gonna run these tests on my own, why don't I run the test for you guys? So here's what I'm trying to figure out. I've been going through a series of trying to learn how to shoot and edit with Canon C-Log. Now on the Canon camera, there's a few different log variations you can shoot with. Um, and I wasn't quite sure which would be the best just in terms of color, the, you know, the way it looks, and working with it in editing. So here's going to be the test. Right now I'm shooting with no C-Log at all. This is straight out of the camera. This is just Canon colors putting stuff together. Uh, I'm just gonna run a series of tests and I'm going through the three different variations of C-Log we could do. I'll show you that footage and then uh, I'll talk you through what it was like to work with it and what I think it looks like. So first up, I have my passport color checker thing right here. Let's just take a look. I'm gonna hold this up so we can take a look at the colors on uh, just the normal right out of the camera, no C-Log. Okay, so this is what I've been normally filming with. This is the first C-Log with the normal Canon colors uh, and, a 7, and a BT709. How does this look to you guys? Also overexposing a touch because when you shoot and see like one overexpose a little bit so. But what you guys should be seeing right now is colored and shouldn't even notice so. Okay, so now this is C-Log shooting with the color matrix at neutral and still uh, rec BT709. How do we think this looks? Okay, so now this is Canon C-Log uh, color is neutral, but this time it's Rec BT 2020. How does this look? Okay, so uh, you have just looked at the footage that I have spent editing and I have sat in color. So here are a few notes that I had and sort of the decision that I'm gonna make on stuff moving forward, which is what I'm shooting on right now. So let's sort of, sort of go through the first thing, which is just like straight out of the camera. Um, colors are actually spot on in terms of hue but like super, super saturated and super, super contrasty. Like I, it, it, it's funny like looking at all the footage and, and not even realizing that until you really seen it, which, which makes sense. Saturation and contrast are sort of what makes things look good. So you would think that like straight out of the camera, they'd want it to be super saturated and super contrasty. So that is one look. Uh, next up, we had the, the Canon uh, EOS original colors. Uh, I guess, so this is what I've been working with, like I said, this is the BT Rec 709. So what I usually have to correct every single time I'm working with this is what I had to correct this time again, which is the red hue is really off and the saturation usually needs to be pumped uh, a lot for green and turquoise to get it to where it looks the best. Um, and then overall, my skin always has probably a little bit too much of redness I find that every single time I film with it, my skin is just a little too red. Um, it's been annoying, and that certainly happens again in the shot. So now let's look at the at the neutral colors, Rec 709. The, the reds actually looked good, no adjusting on the hues there. Slight tweaks to the blue and magenta hues, but not a huge thing. And um, didn't really have to pull or maneuver to saturation in any way either. I did find that the skin was maybe leaning a little bit more yellowy than before. It took a little bit of work to get the skin, to skin tones right, but overall that looked good. And now let's look at the neutral uh, Rec 2020. Uh, greens and reds hues were a little bit off. Um, and then just like a shit ton of saturation and contrast. Now, and again, the skin tone looked a little bit yellow. Now let's sort of talk about all these. The Rec 2020 is more, is, is more for like HDR stuff it makes sense that it didn't look that, it looked good on here, but like my monitor and what it's usually for is not really what I'm filming or producing. Um, so there's no reason to mess with it that much. I think, I think comparing then, if we're gonna compare the Canon EOS colors coming out of the camera, and we're gonna compare the neutral colors coming out of the camera, 
I think both looked really good. Um, I found that like the skin tones, while maybe a little bit more yellow than red in the, in the neutral, I think that looks a little bit more natural. So I actually really like that. I also think now, remember like I shot everything same exact setting. I switched nothing. I had my light on me. I had the same white balance. I touched nothing. So the only things being adjusted were just the way it's, it's, it, it's creating the colors. And I felt that like the blacks looked a lot better um, with the neutral and, and everything looked better. Honestly, like I just think it produced a better picture. Now, obviously you could tweak everything and probably get things closer. But again, I don't want to spend all day tweaking this footage. I want to make a few quick color adjustments and get it to where I want it to be. So I don't know, at the end of the day, I think that the neutral Rec 709 is kind of the clear winner. I mean, you guys saw the footage. You let me know in the comments below if I'm crazy or let me know what you guys use. But I just think in terms of where it's going to be easier to work with, I didn't have to make too many adjustments. I thought all the colors are great. I thought skin tone looked better. Um, and yeah, in terms of file sizes, all the file sizes are pretty much the same. Um, you know, I worry about Codex a little bit and how it, it, it plays on the, on the computer, but honestly, I have to, no matter what kind of C-Log footage I use on this computer, I have to render everything and then it's still like, it works. It's a slow frame rate drop, you know, frame drop, the frames are dropped. Um, but if it's not gonna make that big of a difference in terms of the way I have to render or work with it, then I'm not worried about it and that didn't seem to be a difference. So, in conclusion, what I'm going to continue doing, which is what I'm filming on right now, is the uh, neutral color Rec 709. There it is. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Um, again, this is just testing that I was doing for myself to help me, so I hope it was helpful to you if it was like the video, even if it wasn't, just enjoy hearing me talk, uh, like the video again, comment below, let me know what you think about all these scenes, uh, what else I could be doing, maybe it's something wrong. Again, like if you've missed my sort of previous C-Log journey videos, this is a learning experience that you're coming along the ride for with me. So I'm, as much as I'm trying to teach you, you guys will teach me, I think it's a great back and forth. And subscribe for a lot more videos just like this and food stuff and fun stuff and whatever, so bye.